Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's it's the professional here. So today I want to talk about a subject I have, I have talked about for a very long time on my streams and I've been asked about it a lot. But I haven't really ever made a video about it, so here it goes. This is my opinion, but I'm gonna give you guys good reasons for why I believe what I believe. And I'm gonna tell you straight up, grinding is better than glitching, modding, and buying shark cards. And if you guys watch my live streams a lot, you guys know I'm extremely against modding, I'm extremely against glitching, and I'm extremely against shark cards. And I'm gonna explain to you guys why, and why grinding is the best one. So let's, let's break it down one by one. And let's start off with shark cards. Okay, so here now when we're talking about shark cards, I thought that I would use GTA Wiki as a source here because GTA Wiki has a nice chart of all the shark cards and their prices and how they differentiate from each other. And in this video here, I'm going to be comparing it to American dollars here because I am an American, so it's a lot easier for me just to compare it in US dollars. But it's also in different, it shows in different currencies what it's equivalent to down here. But for this, we're going to be looking at American dollars. So look, you have a red shark card for $100,000. And they want $299 for it. So they want $299 for a $100,000 shark card. I could make that. I could make that $100,000. I could make that $100,000 in about 15 minutes. What I would do is I would do a headhunter. Then I would just go to my office. And I would just steal an import-export vehicle. Drive it to the where vehicle warehouse. Go outside. Do a sightsee really quickly. And sell the vehicle. And I'd probably still get over $100,000 doing that if I had a top range car. So that's not worth it. $299 for $100,000? $100,000 is pretty much like pennies in this game at this point. So $299 definitely isn't worth it for that that much money. And $200,000? $499? Still not worth it. Definitely not worth it. $499 for $200,000? See, it's turning into a giant ripoff. $500,000? $10? Still not worth it. That's a giant, that's, that's a giant ripoff. $500,000 is what you can make. You can make in like two hours of grinding. It's not, it's not worth it. It's not, I mean, I mean, what, you're gonna be paying money to get actual virtual money? Really, it's, it's gonna take the fun of the grinding and the fun of the playing the game in the first place. And now we're moving on to the bigger ones. The even, these are even worse. Great White Shark, 1,250,000, 1999. Wow. Wow. That is, that is. Now we look down at Whale Shark, $3,500,000. $50. Are Rockstar crazy? Are they seriously crazy for that? Let me take a look at this. 1,250,000. They want $20 for that. $20 for that. 1,250,000. This isn't even this isn't even enough for you to buy a supercar. It's not even enough to buy a supercar and you still have to upgrade. It's not even the regular amount for a supercar. This $20. Think about it this way. $20 for one car. Think about it that way in equivalent to GTA currency. Whale Shark, 3,500,000. I can make this in a day. Usually I make between 3 million and 4 million dollars a day. So I'm basically, I'm making an equivalent of $50 every day. $50 of every, every day. And 3,500,000, how much is that going to last you for? What, that's going to buy you a supercar? And then what, you're going to upgrade it? And then you're pretty much going to be out most of that money. You buy an expensive supercar. You buy an expensive supercar for like $2.5 million. Then you probably put another million dollars into customizing it. So you're going to be spending $50 on one car. That's ridiculous. And now Megalodon Shark Card, $8 million, $100. I can make that in two days grinding. Especially when there's, when there's good double money event weeks. People can make that money in around two days. This is so not worth it. This is so not worth it. If I was in charge of this... Uh, $100, $100 should at least get you $50 million. At least get you $50 million. This is, this is ridiculous. Uh, $100 for $8 million. Shark cards are definitely not worth it, and they're a giant waste. Don't ever buy shark cards, and it's it's a giant waste of money. It's, it's, you're wasting so much dollars for just, just a few, just a one or two supercars. It's ridiculous. And $8 million, that's, that's like, that's like two supercars and a plane, in a way. De depending if you buy the cheaper, the cheaper cars, too. So, that's not that's not that much money for like around customizing around three vehicles, eight million dollars. You're gonna be spending a hundred dollars to customize three vehicles. Giant waste. Don't do it. And it also takes the fun and challenge out of even making money in the game. Okay, now let's move on to the next one, modding. There are much less modders now that Rockstar has disabled the ability to transfer characters. And you know, most modders they got their money on last gen consoles and then they transferred their characters. There's still a lot of players out there of modded money, and then you see those annoying rank eight thousands on top of that. Modding, it's cheating, because it's bringing a foreign object into the game. It's bringing in something that was never meant to be in the game, which includes these programs and mod menus that they use. And on PC, these modders, they can be much worse, because they have things like god mode, they can teleport to you, they shoot you through walls, and etc. 
modding hurts legitimate players because they have no real way to counter or compete against them. Not only this, but it's also taking the fun out of the game. You know, what's the point of even playing missions, jobs, activities if you have everything on day one? I'll tell you, there is no point. It completely kills the point of the game. Many years ago, I used to play a game called Call of Duty 4 on the PS3. I was working towards leveling up, doing challenges, when some stupid modder out of nowhere made me 10th prestige, the highest rank possible, and you know, I got very angry because I didn't ask him to do it, and there was no way to reset my rank. I was the highest rank, I had all the guns, attachments, and even challenges completed. Because I had nothing left to do, there was no challenge in the game. Sure, I could just play PvP, but there was nothing else left for me to do. I got so bored, I stopped playing it many years ago because of that. Not only this, but modding hurts the person who, who does it as well. It kills their reputation. When people see other players on GTA Online, they see that rank 8000. I can tell you for a fact, most people are generally not impressed. When they see that rank 8000 or that guy with a 500 kill death ratio, they think, wow, what a terrible player. I'm not a fan of kill death ratio, but when I see something like that, I'm like, wow, really? Whoever thinks modding is a good idea, is that who you want to be known as? You want to be seen as that guy that's a cheater by everyone else? There is even more problems on top of that. Modding can also get you banned. It will ruin your reputation. It'll take the fun and challenge out of the game. And it'll possibly get you banned. So modding's a terrible idea. Now, on to glitching. This, this is a pretty common amongst various players. On many videos for my money guides or my grinding videos, I have people who post, Oh, why do you bother when you can just do a car duplication glitch or a heist glitch? What's the point of grinding? A lot of people post that. Why do I bother grinding? Because it's the point of the game. Grinding makes the game fun and challenging. As I explained with mothers, mothers before, there is no point in doing missions, heists, cargo, or any other kind of activity if you have millions and millions of glitch dollars. Not only this, but it's not fair to the players who play legitimately. What makes grinding the most fun for me is that I put work into getting that money in-game. I feel very re rewarded when I get a big payout at the end, such as in my cocaine business here. I know that I grinded for that, and I made that. Then when I go and spend that money and I buy that expensive car, helicopter, property, etc., I say to myself, I grinded for that, I worked for that, and I got it. I have all the important properties, ranging from MC businesses, import-export, office, cargo, warehouses, hangar, bunker, safe houses, as well as all the weaponized vehicles and so many cars and bikes, you guys get the idea. I got all of that through playing the game and being a successful player. I did not glitch, I didn't mod, I didn't buy shark cards. The problem is that players spend their money stupidly such as buying cars early on instead of investing into businesses. Then they complain and complain that they have no money and think glitching is a good idea. I will link in the description a guide I made on how to avoid going broke, as well as a link to my money guides playlist. In there, I have money guides in different solo methods, a broke money guide, beginner's money guide, import export money guide, bunker and MC money guide, the list goes on and on. I guarantee you there is at least one video in there that fits your playstyle. What I love about grinding is trying to figure out all these different strategies on how to make that money quickly. I love combining different businesses, jobs, to see what is the max money I can get per hour from them. I agree that there are definitely certain jobs in this game, don't get me wrong, there are certain jobs in this game that should pay better, such as the original heists, the races, and the adversary modes. However, there is plenty of ways to make money in this game. Import-export for one is one of the easiest ways to make money, even for a solo player. There are so many opportunities to make money in this game, and you, you don't need to glitch, mod, or purchase shark cards to make it. Look at me. I have $194 million. Some people are going to tell me either I have no life, or I have a huge crew helping me out, and that's why I have so much money. Well, I go to college, I work a job, and I play this game only three days a week. I don't know how that constitutes having no life. And as for my crew, I made over $100 million years before my channel even got popular. I made plenty of money all the time on this game. Anyone that tells you that you need to glitch, mod, or buy shark cards to be successful is either lying to you or very ignorant. My channel is proof that you don't need to do those things to make money. If I see a player that knows how to utilize their money and time to make more money, I consider that pl person much better than someone who has an extremely high kill death ratio. Most of these tryhards who refer them to themselves as PvP gods use glitches and mods to get their money in the first place. That's how they manage to orbital cannon you so much, that or glitching the cannon out. If they actually had to make money in one day legitimately, they wouldn't know what they are doing, and they would go broke so quickly. And that is why grinders are the best forms of players. They appreciate the hard work they put into the game, as well as other players, and don't go out destroying cargo, because they know how much effort you need to put into those businesses. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and my breakdown there. 
But this video was requested by so many people who asked me to explain why grinding is the best. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a like. If you disagree, tell me why and I'll try to answer everyone's points. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone.